in action. Hey, how's it going? Everyone ready for uh, another episode of How's Your Hunt Estate Sales? No, that's not what we're doing. Doing best rate today, baby. Um, so, we went best rate sale. Um, highly recommended. I did this, I did three minutes of this video already. <laughs> so, we're gonna not do it as so thorough. Um, we'll just have a little fun with it. Um, so I had the angles all wrong on the video. It just wouldn't have looked right. I would have to keep flipping the camera on you guys and nobody, nobody, nobody wants to watch that. So, um, yeah, best rate estate sales, uh, Massachusetts. They're based out of Milford, Mass. Um, uh, you, you can't say enough about them. They're, they're, they're the best in, in Mass. That's why they're called best rate because they have literally the best rate. Um, they beat out everybody. Nobody can, nobody can sell like they sell. Um, and that's why they've been in business for, I don't know, 15 years. Um, they've been doing it before anyone's been doing it or around this area. Um, Chris, Cameron, Sue, they're all awesome. Everybody, um, all their past employees and new employees, they're all great. Um, they'll treat everyone right and respectful. Um, the prices, again, are great. Um, and what they can bring to the table is many rare collectibles and antiques and everything like that. Um, good stuff. Um, it's a basic estate sale, so you gotta pick and choose your quality through the sale, but um, you can find some really good gems. Um, the, at the sale, there was a $4,000 painting, $3,000 painting, and they were gone in, in minutes. Um, Chris knows how to price his stuff right to get it to go out the door to private collectors and resellers and everything like that. There was hordes of clothes and shoes, Nikes, and there's a lot of people there. Um, I think they pushed out 120 numbers. That's that's quite a few. Um, there was a two-day sale, but I think, uh, I think they managed to get it done in one day. So... Um, power to them for doing that job. It's a hard, it's a very hard job. Um, so this is the hall. Um, we're going to go, we're going to walk you through everything. Um, take some stuff out of the boxes and maybe un unbox a couple things, but we hit a home run. $200 we spent. It should yield like close to $2,000 um, on the high or 1000 on the low. So, total home run. Um, it's uh, great inventory that I got. Um, everything will fly off the shelves, nice and easy. So, um, we got the trailer loaded for the flea market tomorrow. Get all junk for Grafton. They love the junk, so I loaded up all junk. Steve's probably got some good items in there. Um, Hopefully we'll do good tomorrow, and I'll try to get some live action sale tomorrow. Um, you'll be hearing me in the background haggling with everybody. <laughs> All right, so without further ado, let's get into some items and uh, start evaluating some stuff. And um, you can maybe know to look out for some of these items. Um, reason why I'm saying that is because I've found these items before um, so I know what I was buying and knew my return nice and simple if you know what you're buying you know your return nice and easy to figure out uh, there's no pulling out your phone and crunching numbers while you're uh, trying to buy something so um, uh, there's some items that I thought were gonna do better but all in all if it if it's a double up which everything is far beyond a double up um then it should go great um so let's get into the items so we got all these binoculars one two three four 
five, six. So we got a Sears, we got a Sears, we got a Jason. I'm not gonna go through these model numbers. Um, a Sears, a, uh, what is that? a scope, a scope, and a scope. So we got 15 or 10, 15, 10, 15, 10, um, 10 to 30, 10 to 30, and 10 to 30. All in all, not bad right there on binoculars. Um, so we're gonna back out and we're gonna just gauge what we got here. Backing out gauging, we got a couple nice big tote, a couple small totes full of stuff. And we got some good amount of electronics. So after showing the binoculars, all in all should do well. Um, we got this, this is out of the box. It's a, a little Panasonic TV with a magnifier. This is actually out of the box. I paid three for this one. This one is in the box complete. It's a Travel Vision TR1020P. Um, I just opened it up. It looks pretty good. We can open it up together. I don't mind, I don't mind ruining some stuff. All right, going to the sky view. Okay, so, uh, hey, how's it going? So, uh, it's not complete. <laughs> this is what we got. We got the box with most of the components. And, uh, this. So this is actually in here. So I'll have to clean that. And this is right here. What is here? I am not too sure. Probably some cables or something. Uh, the headphones. Uh, headphones aren't too important. Um, so now this is not complete. Um, so not complete. Technically might take a nosedive on this for not being complete. Uh, I don't know. Ten bucks. We'll get ten bucks out of that. Sadly, oh, it's just that's just sad. All right, so oh well. Um, so I don't know. I paid two hundred for everything. I don't really know what I end up paying for this. Three bucks and possibly five bucks for this box with that stuff. I'm not too sure. I didn't have time to thoroughly go through everything and be like, hey, you know. So we got this. Uh, it says twenty four ninety nine. These head muffs are pretty shot. Um, comps on this are not well at all. I just grabbed it. It said five bucks. It's Panasonic. It looked to be complete. I didn't really notice the muffs, so might take a nosedive on that. Might be able to get five bucks for that at the flea market. Uh, we got this Yamaha um, turntable. Um, I bought that because I need one. So. Carrying on, we got the Sony CFS210, good shape. Um, the neighbor was having a yard sale before the estate sale. Uh, from the neighbor, I bought this for $3. It was a good find. Uh, we got this uh, GE Super Radio. I've seen comps on this sell for like 30 to 40 to 50, um, just like that. Cleaned up a little bit. That'll, that'll all come off. Um, this is the same model radio complete in the box. That's great. This is a RCA CD personal CD player. Um, what I found interesting about this is he wanted five or ten for it, and it was 170 at Bradley's. So this should turn over pretty good. It's complete. It looks pretty complete. I'll have to go through it and clean it up a little. 
for some weird reason, this guy owned a bunch of stuff and just had all the boxes for everything. He'd probably use it and then, like, put everything back into the box. Done for some reason. Um, so, this is phone. It's in there. Brand new in the box. I don't know what the cops on that are, but kind of interesting. I feel like 20 bucks or something. This is a Casio MT100. Um, it's not complete, but it's got the foam and the plastic and stuff. Um, it's in good shape. It doesn't have the power supply, but I'm not sure if it comes with one. We supposedly paid 25 for it, but um, I'm not too sure all in all when said and done of how many items I had. And so we'll probably do this in two-part video. I'll go through the electronics, and then I'll go through that tote, because there's some good, good items in these totes. Right here we have a Polaroid uh, 230 um, land camera in the box. Um, I think I can get 30 on this. They don't sell well, but because I have this box, it should do pretty good. Uh, this Polaroid Color Pack 4, uh, that doesn't do too well. I thought it was going to do better on that. I think I paid 5 for it, and it's probably worth 10. Um, this is uh, brand new in the box. Uh, computer, speakers, um, a sub, and two speakers. Brand new. Never used, so probably like 20, 30 bucks, maybe 50 on eBay. Um, we got this Bell & Howell movie camera, model 45428. This thing's cool. I couldn't find any comps on it. It's got this nice plaid case. It's in good shape, it's got a manual. Um, been nice to have that big light with it. That's a nice light, um, but we don't. So I think this is probably like 20, 30 bucks. Should be. That's a good one. Um, we have these two computers that I think we're going to do well on. I've seen some comps on these. If we can get these to fire up and power on and turn on. This is a satellite T2155CDS. Um, comps for that were 160. And then a notebook PC um, Ultra. It's a. It's a. NB5620. Which, I don't know, I just noticed people been selling a lot of these for like parts and stuff, so I think 40 and 40 if they don't work, so that's, that's pretty good. And that's about it for the electronics. Um, So that's about it for the electronics. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> okay, so here's the home run. We'll get the include the home run. So for 25 bucks, we got this. It's a Panasonic DMR ES35V DVD recorder. Um, it's complete in the box. Hi-Fi progressive scan. You can't beat that. Gotta have Hi-Fi. And uh, it's silver. Um, it's never been opened. So it has a DVD and a VHS. You can pull the VHS onto DVD. Um, Twenty five bucks. So this is what got me to the sale. Yeah, so this is what got me to the sale is this. I saw it in the pictures. Beat everyone to it. Company didn't know nothing about it. Great for me. 
Um, they had to move it. You can't look everything up. Um, only reason why I knew, basically I found this before for $10. If you've seen my other, um, I have another video of when I sold mine. I literally listed it, listed it, clicked list, and it sold instantly. Um, probably from a bot, um, a robot. Somebody probably had a bot on um, the DVD recorders for in the box, and uh, they snatch them up quick. So we got this one. Um, I just saw it sell, uh, complete in the box for 500 bucks. So that's the that's the home run. Um, and then we're gonna do a part two segment of these other two totes. So. Um, that's the, that's the hall. You got the recorder, speakers, so five. I, I mean, I can't do all these maths. I think this is 75 comp in, 30-ish. I think we're gonna hit about 100 on that, 100 on that, 40, 30, 30, um, 30 or 40, five to 10, 10 to 20, five to 10, um, probably is it three or four bucks uh, keeping it and then like I said uh, 10 to 15 10 to 15 10 to 15 20 to 30 20 to 30 and 20 to 30 40 in parts 40 in parts if not they work and bing. so we got the trailer loaded Steve's coming in the morning for that and that'll about do it for the electronics and we'll go into the well if you enjoyed that one then we're going to go into the the next segment on the next video so i didn't want to keep these videos too long for you guys i want to keep them under 20 minutes they upload faster more people watch them um and uh, i'll keep the next video under again 20 minutes um so like comment tell me what you think tell me if i'm an idiot for buying any of this stuff <laughs> um tell me about some of your flea market experiences or your estate sale experiences um i got some crazy stories i could i could do some videos of those i'm just telling you about some crazy techniques that people do or um crazy little sabotage things that people do um so uh, until the next video uh have a good night and have a good day from whatever you're watching and uh watch again thanks for watching